20, 25 zombies, uh, what, and what I believe the zombies experience for Call 25 or Block Ops 7 or whatever might be called, or what we might receive within the zombies experience. So, I hope you guys like this amazing video. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's go ahead and see this awesome play video. So, the video is this, I mean, coming out. Hopefully in like three and a half months, July, August, September, October, about four and a half months, whatever. And so it is how many months? Of, how many months it actually is? Will be. We all have opportunities of what the zombies experience might be for in 2025, like what we might be getting or whatever. I think the game mode will take place in 2030 around the same time as the uh, campaign, the player, and Cool, this is obviously an experience, so it's like nearly everything from now, like, 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 Directly in the uh, 70, I could be uh, like all the maps you could see in the 80s. At the same time as the zombies maps, as well when the camping was also took place out. So, Black Ops uh, 20 for Call of Duty 2020, which is a uh, Black Ops game. Um, I think Black Ops 2025 would be, it's gonna be something probably taking place in the 2030s, 2030. We have that a uh, it's gonna have a um, somebody uh, zombies experience. So we'll have like maybe the characters from uh, Mono Warfare, like Mono Warfare, uh, Warfare zombies, like maybe um, some like maybe Captain Price, David Mason from Call of Duty Black Ops still might be in there here you know, and there. Like I don't know what characters will be inside of Mono Black Ops 2027. Black Ops uh, 2025 or Black Ops 7, okay, exactly at the same time. They are releasing the exact same like stuff with Black Ops um, BO2 storyline. The players in the year 20 are in the 2 the key, or pretty much like the, the 5 events of Black Ops 5. I mean, Black Ops 3 plays in the year 2025, like. I don't know if it's gonna be Canada at all, but um, like, like whatever activation wants to do with the zombie experience, or like try whatever, like, you can even have them on Earth if you can do it with the forest, you can make them on Earth again, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be too back to back to be on Earth games. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be too back to back to be on Earth games, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be too back to back to be on Earth games. I think I was really the seven cool more than the last experience was it like. It's that maybe the same thing for the new one in how many years like 1991 so this is kind of a the cool kind of a sequel to the Black Ops for the storyline. I think it's a sequel to the new set awesome and then go ahead and... Now I'm sure there's a lot of things like... You all can like remember like what's happened in Black Ops 7 I back up seven. <coughs> even the game is that way for what the game is called. That's what it is in the same like Black Ops Seven or Black Ops Twenty Five or Black Ops Beyond World might be a good title for the game, like the Black Ops Black Ops Beyond World might be a good title for the game, like it's like Beyond Warfare kinda. I don't know really if we need to even have a Zombies in every Call of Duty game. Like, like I know Koyok Studios probably wants to do a game within their own Zombies. I really want them to do is have Zombies and different Call of Duty games. Like maybe like, have a Koyok have such their own Zombies kind of. Whatever Zombies experience that they really want to do. Like maybe have like a Mono with the Air type of thing. Like we know like Mono with 2018 was supposed to have a Zombies experience within that game. That was scrapped for uh, Spec Ops and something like that. I think DMZ was also part of their game at one point, and then it got scrapped as well. Well, stuff within the uh, Call of Duty Aqua Regime, like, like, there's a lot of stuff. 
I always got cut with and then mana with it uh, well like everything I got like everything goes kind of, everything goes one of way kinda of. Cause like oh this is the uh, activation for like everything should be that I should not have been uh, extracted or the um the port or whatever like and I say that I can't so fuck that up. But the Zombs experience can have like a very a strong opinion towards like maybe like if everything was like well kinda of, like I don't know if it's three zombies, kind of feels like a death, like a uh, Russian music type of experience, or like a real type of experience, and then, um, seems like a lot of like, a uh, lot of like, like, you, whoever. I also don't really don't think if the zombies experience actually has people doing whatever they want to do, like, what they really need to do is like, maybe have something good. Me, like what they might should do, like for the summer success, like what they might should do, what kind of like I think my opinion is like have like the zombie experience kind of take place in the same mono. Like, this game might be shred and they always have been taken place in between the mono for 19 and mono for 2 do like in between or shortly after mono for 19. This game should have been, I think my like, should have been the zombie experience within mono for 19. But instead, we got this game mode to kind of wash between our hands, kind of like. Zombies could change, but like, this game should have been like nothing at all, like anything else. But the zombies experience that we have right now, people who are going to be watching this video when it comes out, people should know that the Mono Fist 3 zombie ex experience has nothing else at all in between the story. Like, with, uh, and it's like a storyline that needs to be shut off or kind of go down because it's not the experience for Mono for for Mono for three zombies does not make any link of sense. I feel like it's just a um, experience that people needed I did not know about. Like I really don't want how people even even touch this fucking game is a zombie experience. Like I mean this game is really fun and all but uh I don't know why like the team right here has like a lot of like opportunities for the few, uh, few teammates, like everything uh, for this game right here. Pretty much every like in the entire fucking zombie team. I feel like studios that make very good work. It's not no fault that we had a freaking rush for a zombie experience within Call of Duty. The only thing I think that's the fallout is act actually Activision Blizzard or such time as games that were supposed to be making something for the zombies people, for the zombie headphones, they should have made one zombie type experience and then I actually should have told it like Activision or whatever, like someone within the Call of Duty ecosystem to make, actually make their own zombie zombies experience. Because having Cryog do all the fucking work is like, what the hell is wrong with these type of motherfuckers at uh, Activision or whatever? Because I feel really bad for the people, like, I mean, Activision people are really cool people, I just... They've been working for for like a couple of years and they're making action for them to make... Oh, I need you all to, uh, help out Cryox, I need you guys, I need you guys to help defend me with the zombies. I only hope you guys will, I mean, yours. This is a actual, um, kill reminder. Call of Duty Black Ops 20, 20 Black Ops for the World, they are five ass and hours. Um... No, confirm. Black Ops 5 was actually Black Ops 5 was actually supposed to be a uh, Call of Duty game. It was actually supposed to be a Sledgehammer Call of Duty game. But um Sledgehammer games and Wave and Suffer was not even along at all and then they had to um Okay of this happened to be very bad development cycle within the Call of Duty ecosystem for Mono Warfare and I mean you know, of the Black Ops and uh, it's all going to be a game to a podcast game. So I hope you guys like this video, watch this amazing video, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys turn into this video, and yeah. Peace out, everybody. To a follow